The journey of baby teeth, a fascinating process, marks the beginning of a child's dental development. It is a moment that every child will experience, a universal milestone that connects us all. In the early years of life, a cascade of changes unfolds, transforming the once toothless gums into a realm of budding teeth. The mouth, which once thrived on milk, begins its journey towards a full set of teeth. The gums, the seat of future smiles, experience a surge of activity, a final push of emerging teeth, before settling into their new positions. This first flicker of dental development is a poignant reminder of growth and change. This emergence, however, is just the beginning, like the first twinkle of a star. It is a brief, beautiful moment before the full set of baby teeth takes over. Calcium, the building block of our teeth, begins to fortify them, providing the strength needed for chewing and biting. The once soft gums now host a river of growing teeth. With this vital element, teeth begin to harden, their intricate structure forming. The complex systems that sustain dental health now come into play. The teeth, driven by the rhythmic pulses of growth, emerge, beginning their journey of aiding in digestion and speech. Their first appearance marks the start of a new era. This emergence of baby teeth marks the beginning of a cycle, a journey that will ultimately lead to the arrival of permanent teeth. The cycle of growth and change continues. It is a process both awe-inspiring and humbling, a testament to the interconnectedness of growth and development in the grand tapestry of life. In the end, baby teeth pave the way for the adult teeth, becoming part of the natural progression once more. Did you know that the journey of baby teeth to adulthood is as fascinating as the body's transition after life? With the engine of life extinguished, the body begins to cool, gradually surrendering its warmth to the surrounding environment. This process is a silent testament to the body's transition from life to death. This post-mortem cooling, known as algor mortis, occurs as the body's internal furnace shuts down, no longer generating the heat required to maintain its core temperature. The once vibrant warmth dissipates, leaving behind a cold shell. At a rate of approximately one and a half degrees Fahrenheit per hour, the body's temperature steadily declines, eventually reaching equilibrium with the ambient temperature of its surroundings. This gradual cooling is a predictable and measurable phenomenon. This cooling process, however, is not uniform throughout the body. Different parts of the body lose heat at different rates. Areas with greater surface area, such as the extremities, tend to cool more rapidly than those with less exposure. Hands and feet, for instance, lose heat faster than the torso. Factors such as clothing, body size and environmental conditions can influence the rate of cooling. A larger body or one insulated by clothing will retain heat longer. A body exposed to frigid temperatures, for example, will cool more rapidly than one nestled in a warm blanket. The surrounding environment plays a crucial role in the cooling process. This post-mortem temperature change provides valuable insights to forensic investigators, allowing them to estimate the time of death with remarkable accuracy. By understanding the nuances of algor mortis, they can piece together the final moments of life. As the body cools, a peculiar phenomenon takes hold, a final act of defiance from the muscles that once propelled us through life. Rigor mortis, Latin for stiffness of death, sets in, transforming the pliable flesh into a rigid, unyielding form. This stiffening occurs as a result of chemical changes within muscle cells. Calcium, essential for muscle contraction, floods into these cells, causing the muscle fibers to lock into a contracted state. This process typically begins a few hours after death, reaching its peak within 12 to 24 hours and gradually subsiding over the next 24 to 48 hours. Rigor mortis, like algor mortis, is a temporary state, a fleeting reminder of the body's recent vitality. As decomposition progresses, the muscle fibers break down, releasing the calcium that once held them captive and the body gradually regains its flexibility. Death, while marking the end of an individual's journey, also heralds the beginning of a new chapter in the eternal cycle of life and decay. 
Decomposition, the process by which complex organic matter is broken down into simpler substances, takes center stage. Microorganisms, the invisible architects of decay, play a pivotal role in this transformative process. Bacteria, residing within our gut and on our skin, seize the opportunity presented by death, their populations exploding in the absence of the body's immune defenses. These microscopic decomposers feast upon the body's tissues, breaking down proteins, carbohydrates and fats into simpler compounds. This process releases gases, such as methane and hydrogen sulfide, which contribute to the characteristic odor of decay. Section 5. A delicate dance. Factors influencing decomposition. The rate and course of decomposition are not set in stone, but rather a delicate dance between a multitude of factors. Environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity and exposure to the elements play a significant role in shaping the decomposition process. Warm, humid environments provide ideal conditions for bacterial growth, accelerating decomposition. In contrast, cold, dry conditions can slow the process dramatically, preserving the body for extended periods. Burial practices, too, influence decomposition. Bodies laid to rest in shallow graves tend to decompose more rapidly than those interred deep within the earth where access to oxygen and decomposers is limited. Similarly, bodies encased in airtight caskets decompose more slowly than those buried directly in the ground. Section 6. Time's Imprint. Stages of Decomposition. Decomposition, far from a uniform process, unfolds in a series of distinct stages, each characterized by specific changes in the body's appearance and composition. The first stage, known as autolysis, begins within hours of death. During autolysis, the body's own enzymes released from lysosomes within cells begin to break down tissues. This process is most evident in organs rich in enzymes such as the liver and pancreas. As autolysis progresses, the body's cells and tissues lose their structural integrity, contributing to the softening and discoloration of the skin. The next stage, putrefaction, is characterized by the proliferation of bacteria and the release of foul-smelling gases. The body swells as gases accumulate within its cavities, and the skin, once vibrant, takes on a greenish hue as blood decomposes. Section 7. Preserved through time, mummies and more. While decomposition is the natural course for most bodies after death, certain environments and practices can dramatically alter this process, preserving human remains for centuries or even millennia. Mummification, both natural and artificial, stands as a testament to humanity's fascination with preserving the dead. Natural mummification occurs when bodies are exposed to extremely dry conditions, such as those found in deserts or high-altitude caves. The lack of moisture inhibits bacterial growth, effectively halting decomposition and preserving the body's tissues. Artificial mummification practiced by ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians, involved elaborate rituals and techniques to preserve the body after death. These techniques included removing internal organs, drying the body with natron salts, and wrapping it in linen bandages. Section 8. Otzi, the Iceman. A glimpse into the past. In 1991, Hikers stumbled upon a remarkable discovery high in the Otztal Alps, the frozen, mummified body of a man who lived over 5,300 years ago. Otzi, the Iceman as he came to be known, provided an unprecedented glimpse into the life and times of our Copper Age ancestors. Preserved by the frigid temperatures and dry conditions of the glacier, Otzi's body retained an astonishing level of detail. His clothing, tools, and even his last meal remained remarkably intact, offering invaluable insights into the technology, diet, and culture of his time. The study of Otzi's remains has revolutionized our understanding of prehistoric Europe, providing a tangible link to a distant past. His discovery highlights the remarkable preservative power of certain environments, allowing us to unravel the mysteries of ancient civilizations and the lives of those who came before us. 
Section 9, Death and Life, A Profound Intertwining. The journey from a living, breathing being to the stillness of death and the subsequent process of decomposition is a profound testament to the interconnectedness of all things. Death, while often feared, is an integral part of the cycle of life, returning essential nutrients to the ecosystem, enriching the soil and nourishing new life. This cycle ensures that life continues to flourish in myriad forms. Understanding the science of death and decomposition allows us to approach this inevitable stage of life with greater knowledge and acceptance. It helps us see the beauty in the natural order of things. It reminds us that death, far from being an end, is simply a transformation, a transition from one state of being to another. This metamorphosis is a crucial part of the natural world. As we delve into the intricacies of decomposition, we gain a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance of life on Earth. Every organism plays a role in maintaining this balance. We are reminded that death, while marking the end of an individual's journey, is but a single note in the grand symphony of existence, a symphony that continues to play on, with each note contributing to the harmony of the whole endlessly echoing through the vastness of space and time, reminding us of our place in the universe.